Have you ever wondered what the US government would do if zombies took over and started eating people? Me neither. But a team of researchers did one day, and they decided to create what is known as Con Plan 8888. But why, you may ask? Well, interestingly, it's better to have a plan for something theoretical than to not have a plan at all. So, they decided to draft a 32-page document which is now unclassified, and you can openly and freely see it on the internet as a PDF. However, there's a line in the document under section 4.6, subsection 8, paragraph 1, that says, and I quote, Although it sounds ridiculous, this is actually the only proven class of zombie that actually exists, end quote, which refers to chicken zombies, but more on that later. Meaning, that the United States government has officially, on paper, confirmed the existence of zombies. You heard that correct. Which may not come to you as a surprise now, since they literally dropped the bombshell in 2020 that aliens are real, while we were all distracted by murder hornets. The official document was drafted on the 30th of April in 2011 by members of US STRATCOM, which stands for strategic command, after they either jokingly or unironically decided to write up a plan just in case zombies took over North America. Either that or they were watching too much of The Walking Dead, which incidentally came out on October 31st, 2010, and probably had some influence on the overall project. No coincidence there. But what's the point, you may ask? Who cares if zombies take over the world? Whether it started off as a joke or a real cause for concern, the plan has actually some real important stuff in there, such as how to protect political interests, as well as civilians and foreign nationals. It has defensive and offensive strategies for certain scenarios. They have ways to protect state and local governments national interests, and there's even plans to rebuild the economy. Here's an interesting fact. If society collapses and 99% of the population were to get eaten by zombies, taxes would still be required at the Social Security Department. I guess there's only two things that are certain in life, death and taxes. Hopefully not zombies. Some of the threats that were laid out in the document include and I'm not even joking when I say that this list of zombies is actually something else. First of all, you have pathogenic zombies, radiation zombies, pretty standard so far. But then you have evil magic zombies, space zombies, zombie satellites, which pose no danger to humans unless they conduct an unplanned deorbit like a bunch of zombies flying through space? I don't know, sounds weird. Weaponized zombies? Symbiote zombies? Which would confirm the origin story of Venom. You know, that one actually might be the coolest one. Vegetarian zombies? They can cause massive deforestation or elimination of basic food crops, which are essential to humans. And last but not least, the most terrifying of them all, chicken zombies. Chicken zombies, or CZs as the document calls them, occur when old hens that can no longer lay eggs are incorrectly euthanized by poultry farmers. Using carbon monoxide, the hens are then deposited into large piles to decompose and then the hens appear to be dead when they're buried, but inexplicably come back to life and dig themselves out of the piles of dead chickens. Which sounds absolutely horrible. According to what's written, chicken zombies are simply terrifying to behold and are only likely to make people become vegetarians in protest to animal cruelty. So, you may be asking what would actually happen if this situation actually happened. Well, 
For starters, if any scenario were to happen, there would be six phases that the government would initiate, and they are to plan, conduct, deter, seize initiative, dominate, stabilize, restore civil authority, which is arguably more organized than any plan that was drafted by government officials in case a violent takeover happens at a capitol building. Just saying. And in conclusion, a written, officially blessed, and sealed with a kiss plan that was drafted in case Daryl Dixon himself doesn't survive the initial pandemic. We all know how fucked we would be in this situation, by the way, if this actually happened in real life. But hopefully it would wipe out the large percentage of people that go lick bus seats to see what would happen. And by God, we would know all the conspiracies that would dominate the internet. On second thought, maybe China should invent a zombie virus. I've had enough of the internet since COVID started. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to be immune to the Z virus. And if it's the future and COVID has mutated, then please like the video if you're still alive. Also, please share the video with survivors to let them know that help is on the way. Goodbye for now. And I'll see you in the next video.